The front page of the Telegraph, Josh. Um, lockdown damage to generation. Yeah, this, I would argue, is a worthy front page story. I noticed the Telegraph haven't got anything about the uh, submarine on the, on, the, yeah, on, the, on their have, paper. Yeah. Have they? Yeah. Have they got a tiny little box? But they're, they're actually doing proper news. They've got a, a quarter of their front page is a photograph of the king looking at a horse. Well, so that's if, the big if stuff. That's, if that's your that's priorities... Uh, George, happening... your, head, your head flips off if somebody changes their pronouns. <laughs> this is... I mean, somebody... Yeah, well, that's, stuff, that's, affecting, that's affecting, largely, arguably, like this story, a larger group of people. Lockdown damages a generation. Yeah, well, lockdown well. damage generation says ex-CMO. So this is the person who had the job before, Sir Chris Whitty. This is uh, Dame Sally Davis, and she said in their preparations they basically never factored in a lockdown properly and because of that no one ever really looked at what the implications might be so when they kind of forced this policy through in fear in in um you know uh that no one actually sort of saw what their long-term impact would be and we're seeing more and more there's a study in the lancet about um teenage girls there's an increase in um eating disorders 42 percent as she also points out here, preschools, there are people who've never learned to socialise, people, kids who haven't learned to read. Mm. And um, it does seem to me that that's, most of it is particularly focused <coughs> on the choice to close schools, which is a subset of lockdown. Yeah. And I mm. absolutely regard it as the most pernicious of the yeah. lockdown decisions, but not the only one. I mean, no, I no, not the only one. Think, you know. And I think, I mean, we've, we've seen, we all know people who've been affected, either becoming uh, alcoholics or even, I, mean, I don't know any, anybody uh, directly who's, who's killed themselves, but I know friends of friends who've mm. killed themselves from, you know, they've lost their business. Uh, I've got a friend who lost his, his business in, in Singapore because the lockdown had to, had to move back and start all over again. Uh, it was hugely damaging. And I know, you know, obviously COVID, uh, just in case anybody's watching, COVID does exist. It's a real virus. Yes. But, I mean, the, the lockdown was so barbaric, so damaging. I mean, it, it, was, it, was it actually more harmful than if we just let COVID do its thing? I think one thing, I mean, this is not exactly what she's addressing. As I say, she is addressing things like preschool. I think there's a kind of background radiation kind of effect to the whole thing that we're still not really fully yeah. understanding. But I would say quite a lot of people I know have been, have had their relationship with the state, with reality almost, yeah. changed by it. That people have, feel less trusting, they feel suspicious. A lot of stuff has gone on in the last few years that people have not felt entirely sure they can believe what they're hearing or that there is like that they're being told the truth by uh, whether it be about masks or whether it be about you know elections and stuff there's just this whole kind of thing is exactly that kind of stuff is it, I don't know it's all it seems all part of a mesh that yes, has changed I, our relationship with with the powers that be and a lot less trusted but, and I don't think that's helpful either no I don't think it's helpful but this is about our kids this is about their entire lives being affected. Yeah, true. And this and is... the financial burden they'll face. And the financial burden and that their results being lower, their development is going to affect the entire country when, mm. these, when they become adults, of course, when they're yeah. in employment. But also, it's, um, you know, it, it was the least necessary to arguably put them into lockdown because it yeah. didn't affect kids Absolutely. and that was and we knew that early on so i can forgive the first lockdown maybe it went on too long yeah. arguably but the second and the third i think are absolutely disgraceful yeah absolutely. and i'm not going to forgive and it's i'm not going to forgive the government were you, were you in favor of lockdown at the time I, w I wasn't. No, actually, to be honest, I wasn't at the yeah. very beginning. No, I, but I, I barely I, know anybody who's in favour of lockdown no, at the time. But, but, I I can understand, next... but I can understand it at least. But we all had. I had a lot of phone calls and WhatsApp conversations with with friends, ex exactly saying that this doesn't. Feel, you know. Yeah. What do we? You know. And you kind of laugh it off because you know what are you going to do? You know. Yeah, but yeah. The, the teachers' unions. I think Labour. Were, were, yeah. Their, their behaviour. I think yeah. the Conservatives going along with it. Teaching unions. I yeah. think absolutely should be in the. And all the crazy. 